So the first thing um, that we need to know on this problem is it says, Augusto, these triangles are in quadrant two, right? So we know if we're going to create a triangle in quadrant two, it has to be perpendicular. I'm sorry, quadrant two, not quadrant three. It has to be perpendicular to the x-axis, and it has to create a central angle. So it's going to look something like that, right? So that will be angle u. There's our right angle. So the first thing that you should have done for all of these problems is make sure you know what these triangles are going to look like. So there's angle V, and there's angle U. Now on this one, they say the sine is 5 over 13. So opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Now to find the remaining side, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. Or from geometry class, you should also recognize that these are Pythagorean triples, where this value is going to be 12. And this value is 4. But it's very important to note that since this is in the second quadrant, this value is negative 12. right? Because remember, taking the square root, you do plus or minus anyways. And now knowing that it's in the second quadrant, your x value is going to be negative. All right? So these are Pythagorean triples. That means I know they work for the Pythagorean theorem. You can also just use the theorem and actually solve them um, if you don't recognize that. So now we need to evaluate for secant. Well, guys, the only thing we know about secant is it's the reciprocal. We don't have a formula for this, right? But we do know that secant is the reciprocal of cosine of v minus u, right? And we do have a formula for cosine of v minus u, correct? Yes. So we can just go and plug that in. So we now know that this is going to be cosine of v minus u is going to be cosine of v, which is negative 3 over 5, times um, the cosine of u, which is uh, cosine of u, which is negative 12. Yes? Not going to work. Cosine of u, and then plus the sine of v. So the sine is going to be 4 over 5. Because notice we're taking this, we're still evaluating the trigonometric functions for their different points, times the sine of 5 over 13. I'm sorry, what am I doing? Um, that's one of the common mistakes that students will make. OK, so I have this. I, I meant to go and write this. So that's going to be the cosine of u times the cosine, I'm sorry, cosine of v times the cosine of u plus the sine of u times the sine of v. Right? Or sine of v times sine of v. It doesn't really matter. All right, everybody understands where I got to that, right? That's the formula. All right. One of the things, you don't take the sine of that relationship. The relationship is the sine of u. The cosine of v, so now I'll just do this again. The cosine of v is negative 12 over 13. The cosine of u. Um, the cosine of v, I'm sorry, is negative 3 over 5. The cosine of u is negative 12 over 13. Plus, the sine of v is 4 over 5. The sine of u is 5 over 13. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all we simply do is just go ahead and simplify this. Well, negative 3 times 12 is a negative 36. 5 times 13 is going to be 52. No, 5 times 13 is going to be 65. There you go. So that becomes, the, uh, that's a positive 36 over 65. Plus, that becomes 20 over 65. So if I rewrite this again, it's 1 over 36 over 65 plus 20 over 65. Now I'll start doing my work to the right-hand side. So therefore, this is 1 over 56 over 65. And obviously, we can multiply by the reciprocal over here to have a final answer of 65 over 56. And that's your final answer. Okay. So guys,